a month ago I found out I had Helicobacter pylori and I want to share with you how I dealt with it and what actually happened. But before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who have stayed with me all this time that I've been absent and I've waited for a new video. This is a new video and I hope um, you're happy to see me again because I'm happy to be talking to you again. And I also wanted to thank uh, the extra eight people who have subscribed to my channel while I was away. Thank you so much. I didn't think I would get uh, new people um, watching my channel, but I did. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, basically what I'm gonna do is upload some nutrition and fitness videos, sometimes some creative videos, but I basically just want to add value to your lives as much as I can. So for example, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that I've experienced myself and something that possibly some of you might be going through and you don't know that you actually have it. So without further ado, let me uh, start this video. So let me just start this video with uh, a quick description of what Helicobacter pylori actually is. It's basically a gut bacteria. Uh, many people get it in their childhood and it's estimated that around 40% of uh, the UK population has it, but only, only 1 in 10 people who have Helicobacter pylori will actually have some sort of bad symptoms. So for example, um, one symptom could be indigestion, another one gas, um, feeling sick after eating food, and yeah, just in general, bad, you know, stomach cramps and that sort of thing, just indigestion in general. So that's out the way. We now know what Helicobacter pylori is and we know what sort of symptoms to look for. So how do you actually find out that you have it? So with me, I believe that I had suffered with Helicobacter pylori for about two years if not more. So how did I actually find out? Basically I've always had indigestion, I've always had to go to the bathroom after eating food, I've had gas, um, stomach cramps and I always associated it to just simply my digestion just you know kind of figuring things out because just a quick exclaimer, as a kid I suffered with an eating disorder and then I was binge eating. So my nutrition was not the best as a kid and that really does affect you in your adulthood. So if you're a kid and you're watching this, please make sure to take care of yourself and not to starve yourself or binge eat because this sort of thing is not good for you. It's going to have a really big impact on you when you're an adult. So. How did I actually find out I had Helicobacter pylori? I didn't just make it up myself. Right, so probably a year ago now, I started having these symptoms of acid reflux. I didn't know at the time that that was acid reflux because I, I was so convinced that it was something related to my tonsils. I have overgrown tonsils and I've always suffered with um, bad sore throats and things like that. So I've always had to go to the doctor with my sore throat. So I thought it's another one of those because when you have acid in your throat, it sort of feels like just a sore throat. And so I went to the doctor and he said, it's probably acid reflux. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe him. He gave me some antiacids. I took them for like a week, even though I was supposed to take them for two weeks, but they weren't helping me. So I stopped. And besides antiacids are not good for your digestion. So I stopped that and then for probably a year or around 10 months, I kind of just carried on hoping that yes, it will just go away on its own. If I get a really bad case of a sore throat, I'll go in again, but I won't bother to go in with something that, you know, they will tell me it's something else. I just didn't want that because I don't like people interfering with my health. I like to be in control of it. So let's go forward to September 2020, so that's this year. And we went to Poland and what happened was one night I suffered with this horrible, horrible case of um, acid reflux. And it all started one night, I just could not sleep. I woke up at around five, I think, and I had this extreme case of um, acid reflux. It was all discomfort up in here. It was just complete acid flood. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do, but luckily my grandma had this German medicine, which was, I presume, an anti-acid, but it really did help me. However, I did still suffer with this acid reflux for around two days. After that, it started slowly going away. 
but it was uncomfortable. And so I thought, okay, probably I suffered with it because the night before I'd had some dried apples, not just some, like a whole bag of dried apples. So I thought, yeah, probably the acid from the apples caused this to happen in my stomach. And you know, I went to bed quite quickly after eating this whole bag of dried apples. So my digestive tract didn't have enough time to digest it all. So that was my story in my head. Unfortunately, when we came back a month later, I had the same thing. And that time I'd not had any dried apples the night before. So I thought to myself, something's wrong. So I decided to call my GP and I said, listen, this is, it. This is what's happening. I've had this before. I've had antacids given to me and I don't want them. I want to see what's actually happening in my stomach because I feel like something is going on. And she said, okay, well, we can do a stool sample for you. So I said, all right, uh, let's do that. I went in, took the little pot, you know, filled it up with, I don't know if, if you don't know what the stool is, it's basically your poop. Um, and yeah, and um, returned it to them. After probably a week or so, I got my results and yes, they found Helicobacter pylori in my um, stomach. And I was happy that I was finally diagnosed with something because for the longest time, this whole year was an absolute nightmare because I didn't know what was happening. My stomach just wasn't feeling right. I was having this acid reflux where like I had never had acid reflux before. And I know that it's not only old people who have acid reflux nowadays because our diets make us have, get acid reflux. Even young people get it. So I understood it, but um, I'm a really healthy person. And I thought to myself, it's not possible for me to have acid reflux. So I had some sort of, you know, kind of my eyes opened up. I was like, wow, yes. And I started, I started reading about it. I was like, okay, it's curable. I can cure it. So I was prescribed. Now let's move on to what I was actually given to, to cure it. Or if you wish, um, get rid of it. So I was prescribed a triple therapy, which is basically consists of three different antibiotics. So uh, clarithromycin is one of them, amoxicillin and omeprazole. So these two, clarithromycin, amoxicillin, they basically get rid of this bad bacteria in the stomach and um, omeprazole is an uh, anti-acid. But in combination, these three work really well to get rid of um, Helicobacter pylori. And so I had that. I took it for a week and I had really extreme doses because I had to take one milligram. Hmm. I had to, yeah, it was one milligram of um, clarithromycin and two milligrams of amoxicillin a day. Um, so I, that makes me believe that my helicobacter pylori was really in a really super like aggressive stage. So while I was taking the drugs, did I have any bad symptoms? Yes, for the first two to three days, I felt sick uh, after taking the medicine. And it just, I felt tired and sick. That was the main symptom. Uh, I didn't have a metallic taste in my mouth like many people have when they take these drugs. I didn't have that. So that was a good thing. But the main thing was sickness and tiredness. But after a week, it just, it was, it was crazy how good I felt after, even after three days of taking these drugs, I felt, I started feeling really good. So that was that. And basically, I managed to get rid of it. Uh, at least I think I have. I haven't have a, had a test yet, but I'm planning on, this was a month ago now, but I do want to do another either stool sample or I'm just gonna buy a, a simple um, test from Boots because they sell those as well. And you can just test yourself at home and see if anything is still in there. So that's that. Um, now, when it comes to antibiotics, I know they're not the best for your microbiome and if I had known more about Helicobacter pylori and how to cure it naturally or how to cure it with a good diet, I would have probably done that. But bear in mind, I was really desperate. I'd been suffering with digestion issues for such a long time and I just thought the best thing to do was to take those drugs. Take those drugs and just get rid of it and then I will be able to 
you know, be free. I will be free and I'll be able to, to have a good diet and take care of myself the way I've always wanted. Because even when I ate well, when I had these issues, even because I've always been a healthy person, I've always eaten healthy food. I love green stuff, I love, uh, you know, grains and healthy fats. So I never knew, like, when I was trying to eat even healthier, these stomach issues wouldn't change. They would even sometimes get worse. So I was really confused. And I was like, well, a healthy diet must be bad for me then. So I was really, really stuck and confused. So I'm glad I got rid of that. But I have been waffling on for a long time. So yes, I managed to get rid of it. And I'm really, really happy. And basically, uh, while I was also taking let me just take it over to the counter do, 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 do. while i was i think this way would be better while i was on these um drugs on to, on the antibiotics i was also taking a probiotic i had bought it before knowing that i had helicobacter pylori because of my stomach issues and basically it's this brand it's a probio 7 and apparently i've heard about this from this other girl on youtube and um she said that it works after three months i've only been taking it for a month but i can already say that it's working it is really doing something good to my stomach flora uh, i'm also taking other vitamins i take vitamin d not every day not vitamin b vitamin d not every day uh zinc and um, I take zinc picolinate, not the other one, because this one absorb be absorbs better. And also vitamin B. Um, so yes, the probiotic is really helpful. So yeah, so this these are the vitamins I'm currently taking. I'm not advising you to take anything. Uh, please contact your doctor, make sure that you speak to a professional. And yes, make sure that if you have these symptoms of helicobacter or something that, you know, might be helicobacter because we don't know, it could be something else, but please get tested, uh, contact your GP and make sure you know what's actually going on with your digestion and with your body. So that's gonna be it from me. I just wanted to share that with you and hopefully that was somewhat valuable to you. So I have just finished filming and uh, I watched the video over and I realized I didn't talk about the most important thing, which is diet. So let me talk to you about uh, my diet quickly. So initially when I thought that what I was suffering from was acid reflux, I stopped eating all sorts of every citrus fruit that was out there. I tried to avoid even berries because I read that berries had uh, acid in them, as most fruits do, apart from melons perhaps. But um, I avoided vinegars, anything that potentially could have caused me more acid reflux because I hated the sensation of acid in my fruit. So that was that. And um, if that's gonna work for you in the short term, if that's gonna help you feel better, then that's fine because it did help me. But then when I found out that what I was suffering from was actually Helicobacter pylori, I realized that I did not have to cut these things out and luckily yes i didn't because i eat them now and i'm fine i don't have acid reflux anymore because clearly acid reflux was just a symptom of what was actually going on underneath everything else so when i was taking my triple therapy i made sure not to eat any sugar i i always feed my you know belly um good food i always make sure that i eat a lot of uh, dark greens a lot of vegetables everything that's healthy i think i am a really healthy person personally and i think that a lot of people think that too at least i hope um but sometimes every now and then i do have chocolate you know perhaps even every day but when i was taking it i made sure not to feed it sugar because any sort of gut bacteria is like yeast if you feed it sugar it's going to grow so you should not feed it sugar you know yeast needs sugar or any sort of bacteria it's like yeast and bread needs sugar to grow, to make the bread grow. And if you feed your bacteria, the, because it's, it is like yeast, the gut bacteria, um, the bacteria in your stomach is resembles yeast. And if you feed it sugar, it's gonna thrive. So 
you have to avoid that. Make sure you feed your, kind of listen to your body. If listening to your body means eating um, fast food every day, then don't do that. But if listening to your body means eating very healthy, nutritious foods, making sure that you feel good and amazing every day, then you have to do that. Even after you finish your triple therapy, you have to make sure that you eat well and feed your body um, good food. Make sure that you put a lot of good nutrients down that throat, you know? Um, and yeah, just make sure you get in the rainbow. And that's it basically. I hope that I've added some value to you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will keep you updated about uh, this whole Helicobacter pylori journey, but I believe it's over now. And yes, I will see you soon in my next video. Mwah.